Hello. The question was asked how to find a scholarly article within the library catalog. So I'm going to show you briefly how to do that. Here we are at the home page of the college, spcollege.edu. You have two options. You can just do a forward slash and type in a library and it'll take you right to where you need to go. Alternatively, you can go down here to libraries on the left. It'll take you to this page and you can click search library Either way, it'll take you to this page here where you will find our catalog search. Now this searches both physical collections and virtual collections. You will find that you have information here that are from books, information that's here from articles, information that's in databases, um, all this all put into one. So it's kind of like a Google search in a sense. However, what we want to do, because there's just such a good amount of information out there, similar to Google, but quite a smaller universe of information, but still, we want to narrow down things. That's the hardest part about searching most of the time in an academic environment, is narrowing things down. So first, let's take a quick look here. We're going to go in and we're going to limit it to an article. Limit to article. You have ebooks, audiovisual, books itself. Limit to an article itself. So in here, we're going to type in the word plagiarism. Plagiarism is what we're going to try. I'm going to click search here. Note we're searching just St. Pete College all over, which for this it doesn't matter because articles are going to come from a database and the databases are open to all campuses, but you can search by campus or all 28 colleges. Um, this is by default here, searching the whole college at all the various campuses. So I click search. Now what you'll find here is 11,025 results on plagiarism. Now these articles just probably it's in the title or it's in the summary of it. You can see here all these are on just plagiarism by title. And you can take a look. You can see some are from the British Medical Journal so maybe there's something to do with health, uh, things of that nature. But what we want to do at this point, if you're looking for a scholarly article, and sometimes this is a word that people utilize for scholarly, it may just mean something that's not out there on the open web written by Joe Blow, but written by someone who's a real expert in the field. Some people use the term that way. Other times they mean it and they actually referring to what we call a peer-reviewed journal or peer-reviewed article. And you see this word right here, peer-reviewed journal. And what that refers to is a journal where not only is it experts writing in the field, but it is experts checked by experts writing in the field. So in essence, you have this wide array of check and double checking of all the observations and facts and theories and statistics that go on within studies that are done out there. Uh, and therefore, it's really the pinnacle of publication at that point. It's what you know what you really want to look for if you're doing high-level research. So you have two options. I'm going to limit it to peer-reviewed journals here. 7,272 um, is what that would show as opposed to the 11,000 we had earlier. And then from there you really what you want to figure out is where you're going to head with this. What about plagiarism are you really looking for? And over on the left this uh, we call facets on this. There are some things related to it uh, in this area here on this subject you have plagiarism ethics and maybe that's because you're in ethics class maybe that's something you're looking at so you can click here notice scientific misconduct maybe that's not necessarily where you're going or with publishing but let's take a look at ethics for just a moment related to plagiarism and see what happens it takes us back to 74,217 uh, because it's not limiting at this point we can go here to peer-reviewed journals again 58 Let's do an advanced search real quick and look at ethics and we're going to put in plagiarism. Search. Now we're down to peer reviewed journals, 3,500, sorry, journals 3,512. Peer reviewed, we're down to 2,345. So we're still quite a few, but we might take a look at using more keywords, ethics and plagiarism within our search other than just the word plagiarism to help narrow it down. Here this might help you out as you go through. Hope this helps. If you have more questions, just let us know. Thanks.